to remember by Joe Diffie. I'm Max T. Barnes and this is another story behind the hit song. Uh, T.W. Hale and I wrote that back in the 90s and it was a hit for us for Joe Diffie and uh, I think it went to number five or something like that but he did a video on it and uh, it's it's still one of my favorite cuts. Joe Diffie was a demo singer here in Nashville and when you're a demo singer that means you have to sing all sorts of styles and you gotta sound like a little bit like everybody and you got like to be a stunt singer like you gotta be just a great singer and he is and when a demo singer gets a record deal and he becomes a star my goodness they cut great stuff Joe Diffie makes wonderful records and Lonnie Wilson his producers he's, he plays drums on the records he's placed on a cabillion records here in town but man do they make good records together and Joe just sings so well I love hearing that when it comes on the radio because it's just great. I mean, when you can get it cut by Joe Diffie, it's, you're going to enjoy it. And uh, uh, later, a couple years later, he did another song of uh, mine, uh, a couple guys and I wrote, and we'll go on to that on another video, but uh, that one is uh, Tougher Than Nails, and again, he just killed it. So back to this song. A Night to Remember, T.W. Hale, uh, I met him through his, his wife, Deborah. Deborah was working at Big Tractor as a plugger uh, with Trey Bruce, and I was writing a lot with Trey Bruce back then. And Deborah said, hey, you ought to hook up with my husband, T.W. He's a songwriter. And I said, great, let's do it. Now, T.W. had written A Man Ain't Made a Stone for Randy Travis and uh, Why Haven't I Heard From You by Reba McIntyre. So... T.W. is a hoss, and uh, he and I got together one morning to write, and he says, I got an idea, Max. I said, well, what is it? What is it? And he said, a night to remember. And I'm thinking, well, a night to remember, that ain't no big deal, because it's just like, woohoo, we had a night to remember. But he said, but the twist is, it's a night to remember. And uh, golly, if he wasn't right, that's a, that's a great idea, and that was his idea. And I thank you, T.W., for letting me write that with you. When we started writing it, you know, we just knew it was going to be good. It just laid out so nice. And that morning we were writing uh, there at his publishing company. And it was kind of a basement studio. It's all these rock walls and stuff. Real pretty place to be. But this big round table, and he and I just uh, sat, sat down there and just hashed it out. And when we got done, man, were we proud of that thing. And, you know, uh... You put it on a shelf and you move to the next song. That's what we do here in town. When you write for a living, you're writing every day. And you don't really think about what you wrote yesterday or the day before. So when it finally came up, you know, it was cut and it was a single. I, I want to say it was a couple of years later. And it's always good news to hear somebody's going to sing your song. But when I heard Jody, if he was going to do it, I was really happy because, man, he's, he makes great records as you know as witnessed by Joe Diffie's record so I wanted to play it for you on this guitar this is my 1949 Martin 015 and I wrote that song you know my portion that that I wrote with TW TW is co-writer but what I'm saying is whatever I added to it I wrote it on this guitar this is my songwriting guitar and this was I think an inexpensive guitar back in the day uh, you know, in the 30s and 40s when they made these, but you see, man, this thing's got some miles on it. I've probably have written all my hits on this thing. But uh, you can see it had those old Bakelite keys and I had to replace those. You see, they just they just turned to dust. You can see there's just, it's like an old stick of stove wood, this thing. But I love it, it just sounds good and plays good. <laughs> so good so I wanted to play it for you on the guitar I wrote it on this is it and uh, uh, that morning when we wrote it I had uh, spilled a big old thing of coffee on my lap I didn't get it on my guitar which wouldn't have been a good deal but it was a morning to remember too so that's a night to remember Joe Diffie thanks for watching